Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can connect Power Query with a folder and get the files information from a particular folder. As you are seeing my screen, I have connected Power Query from one of my folder and the output is this. I'll show you that folder also. This is the folder where I have kept these five files and the information of these files are coming automatically in this table. If I will add any new file, let's say I'm just making a copy of this and if I will refresh this, then you can see a new record is available here and the information and the change time and all the information is available here. If I will delete this file, then I will refresh it again. I will get the updated information of that particular folder. So I have done this using Power Query. Now the other and most useful thing is we can consolidate the data of those files and then we can display in a summarized manner. Like I have created a pivot table from those files. First of all, I would like to show you the file. So I'll open one file. In this file, the date is available on B1. Then I have employee wise data. And here I have login hours, call handled, AST and the sales. And these information is for 1st of Feb, whatever date is available here. And this similar information is available in the other files also. And now we have to consolidate these files and create a summarized report. So this is the report which I have created. The date is available here. If you will extend this date, the employee wise information will be available here. If I will add any new file here, let's say I'm just making a copy of this and I'm just renaming it at let's say 6 Feb. And I will open this and will change the date of inside. Let's say I'm just taking at 6 Feb. I'm just keeping the same number whatever is available for the fifth and the same I have copied to the six. If I will refresh this P word, then you can see the six fab is automatically available and number are pretty much same because we just have copied file same as fifth fab. If we will extend this, the employee wise information will be available. So it is very, very useful friends. If you have multiple source file, you can keep inside a folder and then you can connect it with the power query and you can create a summarized report. Whenever you will have a new file next day, you can just copy that file and put in that folder and refresh your report. Your report will be automatically ready. Now I'll tell you from the starting, how can you connect power query with a folder? So I will add a new and I will close this. Let me save this. And here for this book six, I will connect with the power query. So I'll go to the power query if this power query tab is not available in your excel you can install this in the first part of the power query tutorial i have explained how to install the power query for excel 2010 and 2013 for excel 2016 it is default available in data tab so now i will go to the from file and then here you can see the folder option is available from folder just click on this then it will ask me the path of that folder so what I will do, I'll go to that folder, I'll copy the path and then I will paste this here. I'll click on OK. So if I want to show the files information only, then I simply can click on load and then it will display this information or I want to make some changes in this information, then I can click on edit. And then for example, I don't want to display this content column then I can simply select and remove this column and let's say I don't want to see these attributes and the folder path because the folder path is the same so I can simply uh, remove this column and then if you want you can rename this this is let's say file information and simply you can close and load then it will be loaded automatically if you will add any new file let's say I'm just making a copy of this and if I will refresh this, it will be automatically available here. You can see if I will delete this and I will refresh this, it will be removed automatically to get the files information. How many files inside that folder? You can create a small summary. All right. But how to consolidate those files and 
transform the data as per our requirement and create a py table to show the summarized information we will learn again the power query and again i'll go to the from file and folder and then i'll go to the folder path i'll copy the path again and paste this here click on ok so this time rather than click on edit we will go to the this combine option and here we will click on combine and edit then it will take me in power query so here we know our data is available always in seat burn just click on ok so this power query editor is opened here you can see the name of this query is my folder again so i will rename this employee wise performance here we have to format you can see as per our data it has merged the file the source name is the file name from which file the data is coming and then it has this date all then it has the employee name and all the other information so first of all we have to create a column for date because date is available only in one cell so what i will do i'll select this column which is column 2 because date is available here right so i'll go to the add column and then i will click on duplicate column so it has created a duplicate column so now if you will see the date is available here then the employee names are available here right so employees names will always be a tab and date is available here so what i will do i'll change the type of this column as date so here i'll go to the transform and data type i will choose as date or you can simply change it from here also just click and select the date but as soon as i will select the date then what will happen this employee one employee name or the other text is not a date it will give me some error so it will show the error in place of these text so let me change it as date so you can see it is displaying as error wherever proper date is available it is showing date but the date is not available then it is showing error what i will do i'll replace this error with blank so i'll go to the transform and here you can see this replace value just click on this drop down button and click on replace errors so it will replace the error with the value so here we will give the value so i'll type here null i will replace all the errors in this column with the null so now you can see either the proper date will available otherwise it will be a null so now what we need to do fill down it until the next date will come so we'll go to the transform again the fill option is available make sure whenever you are doing these activity the column should be selected which is already selected and now i'll go to the fill and click on fill down the date is filled you can see here we need to remove these first two row then our header is on the third row what we will do we will remove these two rows so to remove these rows i'll go to the home and then i'll go to the reduce rows group and then remove rows remove top rows and then i will type here two because we want to remove two rows click on ok then the first two rows has been removed and now we will promote this first row as header so we will go to the home and the transform and we will use first row as header just click here then the first row is the header you can see now we will rename few columns like this should not be the first fab it should be the source file and then here rename this as date now if you will see the date is available here and then some blank is also available and then again the employee id which is the header of the second file and similarly if you will see third one which is the date then null then the employee id which is the header of third fab so we have to remove these also how we will do it just select the employee id first of all remove the empty or the blanks just click here then all the null has been removed from here only date and employee id is additional so what we will do just click again here scroll it down and just uncheck the date and employee id from here just click on ok now we will change the data type for our columns this column is date so which is already there this is sales so now here you will see the data type it is showing the abc and one two just click here the sales always will be a whole number just click for the ast we will take as a decimal number this ast is in seconds now call always will be a whole number login hours can be a decimal number so we have changed the data type 
Now we need a additional column that is to calculate the AST. AST is the average handle time. When we will summarize in a pivot table, we cannot take the average of average, which will be wrong. So what I will do, I'll add here a custom column. So I'll go to the add column, then click on the custom column and I'll type the column name as let's say total handle time. And that will be the AST and then multiply by calls, double click to insert and just click on OK. So we have another new column, but the data type of this column, if you will see it is again ABC and 123. So it should be again the decimal number. Now we can load this. So just click on close and load to and click on only create connection, click on load. So now employee wise performance is available. So what I will do, I'll go to the seat one, then insert and pivot table. Here I will click on use an external data source. Now click on choose and here I will select employee wise performance. Click on open. Okay. So you can see all the information is available here. You can create according to your requirement. So what I will do, I'll take here date. Then I will take the employee name and I will take the login hours here. Then I will take the sales and I need the calls also. So call handle I'll take here. Then we can create few calculated column also. So to calculate the average handle time, I'll go to the analyze and I'll create a calculated field. Here I will take average handle time. It will be the total handle time divided by call handle and next I will take the sales conversion and the sales conversion will be total sales divided by calls handle. Okay. So it is available here. Now we will quickly format this sales conversion and value field setting. So we will take it as the percentage average handle time just double click and number format just take it as number decimal place will be zero sum of login hours we will take here the average of login hours rather than showing the sum of login hours and then we will change the formatting also so we'll take the number format as number and decimal place as one only now remove the average of from here similarly the sum of from here also quickly just select and replace sum of with blank you can change the layout as a tabular so it will look like this change the design also for this one and just remove the grid lines you can collapse the entire field like this so the date wise data is available here now if you will add any of the new file let's say i'm just adding a new file this sixth fab but i'm changing the date here as save in and just save this file close if i will refresh this pivot then saving will be available here that is how you can consolidate format and summarize your data from a folder using power query i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching